Right. Hey guys. Welcome back. Hope you've had a lovely weekend. You've had a nice rest. You've enjoyed the sunshine. Um, right, so we're going to do our revision lesson again today. Our maths year one revision lesson. And today, children, we're going to be looking at this operation, this sign. Can you have a think for me, children? What does this operation, what does this sign mean? Okay, you can pause the video. Okay, have a chat with your adult, or if you're on your own, have a think in your head. What does this mean? Okay, guys, so hopefully you've remembered, guys, that this means take away. Take away. What happens, children, when we take something away from something else? When we take away? Can you remember what happens? Yes, children, the answer always gets smaller. We always have less. We always have less because we're taking something away, so we have less. And that is, we can also call this sign less. We might say 16 less 5, okay? What is 5 less than 16? So we can call it less. Can you think of any other names that we have for this operation? What else do we sometimes find that this is called, this sign? Have a think for me. Pause the video. Have a think. What else can we call this? So we can call it take away less. I wonder if you remember this one, the posh name, is subtraction. Subtraction. Okay, that's that posh name for this symbol. So we might say, can you subtract 5 from 14? Okay. So subtraction, we are doing subtraction, we are subtracting, subtract. And the other one that I thought of that you might hear sometimes is minus. What is 12 minus 4? Okay, minus, so we can call it minus. And you're right, when we do take away, the answer always gets smaller. We always have less. Okay, well done children. Well done for remembering all of that information. Now, in order to subtract, I would like you to have a go at practicing counting back. Counting back. Now, you'll remember that when we count back the numbers, numbers always get smaller, always get less if we count them back. If we count them back. So I'm going to count back from 20. I'm going to count back from 20. There's my number, 20. And we've practiced this a lot, counting back from 20, haven't we? Num no, the numbers get smaller and it gets less. So what comes before 20? 20, one less than 20. Now, if you think you know, if you think you've got the answer, you can always check your right by looking at a 100 square. Now, you can get a 100 square from the website, our school website, or you could make your own by writing the numbers from 1 to 100. So I know that I think that 20, if I count back 1, 1 less than 20 is 19, I think, because in 20 I've got zero ones and two tens, so I haven't got any more ones left. So I'm going to go back to 9. And then I have 110. And I can check, there's 20. And if I do one jump back, yes, I land on 19, so I am right. So let's count back from 20, children. So we're at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And counting back, parents and children, is such a good thing to keep on practicing because it's a bit harder than addition. We're used to counting up, but counting back is a bit trickier. So I would say if you can practice counting back from different numbers, 
Start with numbers less than 20, so you might practice counting back from 13 or 8. And when you get a bit more confident, you might want to pick a bigger number. So in Class Australia, we started counting back from 40 before we challenge ourselves. So you can have a go at practicing that, children. Okay, because when we're counting back, the numbers get less. It's like taking away. Okay, children, give that a go. Well done. Thank mm -hmm. you.